Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I know many of us will know why I'm here. But it's deeper than that. If you don't know my pain, you can't know my praise. I want to give glory to the name of God. If I should share this testimony while standing, I'm an ingrate. So I'll go on my knees. I want to give glory to the name of God for searching me out. Out of multitude. Even out of my family members, he searched me out. I want to appreciate my parents in the Lord. And I say that the grace of God upon your life not run dry. In the name of Jesus. When I, you know, last week I flashed back and I looked at where I was coming from. It wasn't a smiling place. But I want to thank God today that I can stand and say that I am heavenly married. I remembered when I met my husband. I didn't even know I was going to, you know, do anything that year. But my dad went to a place and the woman told my dad, he said, by December, this lady is going to get married. He said, but you must not do it in a, you know, in a shouting way. Because the, the, the signs she followed while she came to, this, to your family, you would have maybe killed cows and all. But if you should try and do anything, you might lose her on that very day. And my dad looked at me. I looked at him. And we had to do it on a low key. In fact, we did the traditional on his birthday. So that at least people that came can eat something. So we tagged it in directly like he was celebrating his birthday. And I was doing my traditional wedding. And you know, after then when I joined the workforce, daddy was praying at retreat camp. And daddy told me, said, Ketura, pray. Because people from your foundation are expecting you to pack out of your husband's house. He said, what he's seen is that they joined us, they bind us together with chain. Thinking they joined us together. And since then, you know, I've been praying to God. It's just an unmerited favor. When daddy called me and told me this is what God said, I went back home, I was crying. I said, what would I have done to deserve this? I want to give glory to the name of the Lord. I want to exalt the name of the living God. Because today, I am married. And I can stand and say I am a married woman. And in fact, I have a ring. Praise the Lord. And I say to the God that has done this, may his name be praised forever in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Praise the God of Adeleke. Praise the God of TCCC. Who did this? <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Praise the Lord. My name is Oluwa Shon Oye Deji. I want to thank God for his grace, his amazing grace upon my life. I want to thank him for saving me. And I thank God also for TCCC. I thank God for Pastor Adeleke. I thank, you for, I, I thank God for mommy. I thank God for the encouragement, the words I receive here. I give God the praise because I don't know where I would have been without him. If it had not been for God in my life, if it had not been that he brought me out of the miry clay and set, me upon, and set my feet upon a solid rock, I don't know where I would have been. I don't know what name I would have been called. He saved me and he led me here to be directed in his word, in his, uh, to direct my footsteps in his word. I thank God for everything. I thank God for the year 2017. It was a year of great lesson for me. God opened my eyes to a lot of things. I was in a, by this time last year, I was in a terrible place. I knew where I was and I knew it wasn't a good place. But God drew me out. Timbani kema ronyo, bobo koton no uti shefumi, ili ashu, ili amo. We won't live here if I have to start saying everything God did for me, for my family. I thank him for everything. I thank him for life. I thank him for my marriage. I thank God for my children, everything he has done for me this year. 
2018 was a great, is a great year for me. It's my best year yet. And I give God the praise for everything he has done. I bless his holy name. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Praise the Lord Almighty. Our God is a faithful God. Uh, in fact, I don't know where to start from because uh, the testimony is so great. Like what my sister said, he said, if you don't know my pain, you cannot know my joy. You know, me standing as a man today, it was, it was by the grace of God. Because automatically when we talk about marriage, it is not about me. They are not talking about me. Because I found it so, so hard to get married. The day that uh, my junior ones get married before me, but, you know, I keep on looking unto God. Though there, there are many, you know, that's all. But uh, the family I came from, I don't know why I was, I don't know how to put it. I look so different, as in my case is different so different you know and because of that they envy me i don't know why they are envying me they are envying me <laughs> because my case is different <laughs> praise the lord so it happens that the marriage is not coming even when i met my wife it got to a level i said go on your way let me go on my way i said i don't want the relationship again to the extent that she got another person, they even do introduction. She was, uh, and as at that time, she told me everything. She was carrying me along. Even the wristwatch she used that day, I bought it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You know, but to God be the glory. She still come back and say, eh, the guy did this, the guy, you know, I was like, wow. So God is still on my side, you know. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> so as she come back, I was like, God, this is an opportunity for me. So I quickly do what I'm supposed to do. I said, let me go and know your father. From there, you know. I told the man, ma, I, I no get money for now, but let us just do the thing, you know, so that this this woman will not go away again. So <laughs> praise the Lord. So we just we just package the thing, then we do our uh, uh, traditional marriage. But after the traditional marriage, I got to know that it's what is behind it is more than what I was looking at. One of my sister was crying that me i get married why i was like why why are you why are you so you know it was like i must not get married but i was thinking ah thank god i have overcome because i've done my traditional marriage but i did not know that just the, that one is just uh, my nothing and the hand of god is you know as daddy used to say, he said, until when you are joining the church, that's when you do the proper thing. So I was not, I, you know, spiritually, they used that against me. You know, I was like, sometimes I would feel like leaving the marriage, run away to somewhere, start another life, you know. But the grace of God, it was the grace of God that sustained the marriage. Up till last Sunday that we are able to be joined in the church. Glory be to the name of the Lord. I really bless God because so many times we have tried to do our church marriage. Even one of my pastors in Anglican Church tried so many things to make it work. It did not work. So many times I will try, I will say it did not work. 
but I give glory to the God of this mountain. I say thank you, Daddy. If it is not Daddy, that, very, several times Daddy has been disturbing me. Several times, Daddy will say, when are you going to do this? I say, Daddy, don't worry. I'm preparing, I'm preparing. Every day I'm preparing. Every time I'm preparing. Until when Daddy says, oh boy, don't prepare again. So, so, so day. <laughs> Until Daddy give me date. This date, you are going to do it. I say, wow. This is my father. My father has spoken. And it, it has been done. It, it, it must come to pass. So, I give glory to the Almighty God. That that day come to pass. And God has fulfilled our marriage. Glory be to the name of the Almighty God.